wow but the work you're doing is um the one you know we um that hopefully is getting all of this uh, mm -hmm. coordinated mm -hmm. and you've come together with a couple of other education players mm -hmm. so, sort of like 70 other education mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. um, within the region mm -hmm. um, to to wh whose interests is is, is similar mm -hmm. uh, under rally yes um, what is that about yeah so rally first of all is not our brainchild so mm -hmm. I can take the credit for mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, but it's been something we've been very privileged to play a leadership role in over the last four years. Mm -hmm. um, not long after I joined Dignitas, mm -hmm. um, I had the chance to engage in, in one of the inaugural meetings of RELI, mm -hmm. which is the Regional Education Learning Initiative. Mm -hmm. um, and in that same meeting, um, slightly by surprise, I ended up in a leadership role mm -hmm. <laughs> for RELI. Mm. Um, at that point, we were establishing ourselves in Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya. Mm. Um, and we were establishing country leadership for each each country that would kind of coordinate activity and bring together members. Mm. Um, and so I found myself in the role of um, Kenya country lead mm -hmm. um, very closely aligned to the work we were doing at mm. Dignitas mm. Um, as an entity um, mm. really brings together education actors from across the region mm. with a focus on improving learning outcomes for children furthest behind, yeah. um, which almost kind of copy, copy pastes across to, to Dignitas. Dignitas and yeah. what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. So it was a strategic place for us to be yeah <clears throat> excuse me mm. um and a very meaningful place for us to meet with others in the sector who were pursuing similar goals and mm. um, albeit by a range of activities and, and interventions mm. and programs mm. um and, and so that's been an interesting journey as well mm. um by that point it had already been clear to me that one of the biggest dysfunctions in the development sector mm. is that we all work in silos mm -hmm. <laughs> um and there are first the silos of health, education, social protection. Child protection. Yes. And the rest, yeah. But even within education, mm. there are silos. Mm. Partly between kind of primary, secondary, tertiary education, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but also just between different types of agencies and organizations. Mm -hmm. And really sought to break down those silos and mm -hmm. bring people, mm. particularly within the education sector, mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. um, but at, so at the development um, the, the, is the development at the development players themselves speaking in unison? So it's interesting. So Rally is crafted and curated to be very much a community rooted. Okay, all right. Um, community, yeah, community yeah. rooted community. Yeah. Set of players. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, mm. um, and so our members are um, small to mid-sized organizations okay. working at a community level. All right, okay. We have been approached by mm. many of the bigger agencies mm -hmm. and players, mm -hmm. but to date have been wary of how we engage mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. going full circle back to our earlier conversation, mm -hmm. there is a power imbalance mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, and we even see it in other spaces within the education sector which mm -hmm. seek to bring actors together, mm -hmm. that there is a power imbalance between the big international um, players and the Kenyan homegrown solutions and community-based organizations. Mm, mm. At some point, I think we will find a way to, to bridge that gap. Yeah. But I think being able to do that well mm. is important mm. and, and that's what needs to, to be made clear. Mm. Um, but we, as Rally came together around three key pillars. Mm. Um, one was to transform each other. Mm -hmm. So um, by working together, to share evidence and data internally that makes us all better. Mm. Uh, learning from each other about what works, what doesn't work, mm. sharing knowledge across the network, mm. and also from time to time co-investing in expertise. Mm. So if we need expertise in monitoring and evaluation mm -hmm. or strategic communications, yeah. it's much easier to do that as a community of members mm. rather than individually everybody goes to look for their own consultant. Mm. Um, and the second pillar has been evidence building. Mm. So how do we build a hub of evidence, of knowledge, of data mm. um, that is rooted in the global south, mm. owned by the global south mm. um, and controlled by the, by global, the global south? south. Because mm. who owns the evidence, the data, the knowledge is mm. actually at the crux of the power imbalance in mm. the development sector. Mm. Mm. Um, and thirdly has been about policy influence. Mm. Um, again, making sure that from within our own countries, we can drive policy in a mm. way that we know works for our communities. Mm. Mm. Um, and, and making sure that whilst there is 
um, potentially something positive to gain from learning from other places mm -hmm. that we're not trying to copy paste from elsewhere yeah. to a completely different context and culture. Yeah. Um, and leaning obviously on the evidence and data yeah. to be able to inform those policy conversations. Mm -hmm. And so Rally has really been about bringing education actors together mm. around those three things mm. um, and then out of that having that be a space for mm. all of us to mm. grow both individually and as part mm. of that whole mm. um, so that's been a really a really exciting journey mm.